So guys, I think we're gonna open up something a little bit different today and just kind of review this product because it is huge. This is the 2024 Battle Academy. Let me turn the camera upwards because this box is tall. It's like a giant board game, huge product. And we're gonna review it today. We're just gonna take a look and see what's inside of it and see if there's anything that we can determine is worth it. With that being said, guys, today I am gonna be doing a giveaway for this video. Now you see there are three awesome promos that come in here that are exclusive to this box. I will be giving away one of these promos to a lucky winner. Which promo it is, is gonna be a surprise. It's either gonna be Pikachu, Armourouge, or Darkrai. I'm gonna leave that up as a nice surprise for one lucky winner, but if you want your chance to win one of these exclusive Battle Academy promos, make sure you comment down below which of these three decks that we're gonna look at today is your favorite? Will it be the Armor GX decks, the Pikachu EX deck, or the Darkrai EX deck? And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this product. Now, like I said, once again, this product is like a board game. It is huge. It's got thick packaging. This is one of the things, I will be honest, that is great for kids. If you were somebody who was, let's say, you were a vendor who went out to, let's say, like a convention and you were trying to make some sales, this is 100% a product that you want to have on hand because kids love this thing. But if you're an online business, this thing is terrible. It is so heavy. It is so bulky that even if you got a box that's perfect fit, you're spending like $10 to ship it. And that is a massive amount of money for something that barely retails at $20. So half of your cost to sell this is literally spent shipping it and you have to spend like 12 13 dollars from your distributor to even get it so this is one of those products as a business you didn't want to grab because it was 100 never worth it to pick these up unless you deal with conventions but it does come with some cool stuff first and foremost this is something that's going to be really hard to show you guys so i'll kind of just show you guys half of it it's basically like a board game where your two players can play against each other. It has your prize slots, your active slots, your deck slots, your discard piles. And those are pretty cool. Then you get instructions, a little read this first, little graphic. I'm gonna turn up my camera so that way, if you guys wanna take a look and pause it right here, you can read most of it. But it kind of just tells you how to set up the game if you're interested in playing. Once again, going back to the idea, this is meant for kids. You got your reference, your rules reference, and then you got your deck tutorial guides, which include an Armor Rouge and a Pikachu deck. So you're gonna have your deck tutorials. You do have a code card, which I'll give one lucky person here today. I think this is the only code card in the box. So unfortunately, if you are somebody who's looking for code cards, if you did not get that one, there's nothing else offered in here. You do get damage counters. I prefer to use dice, but if you're somebody who's new to the game, these may be great tools to use. You can poke them out and use them. And then you get a coin, which this coin is really cool. It features Darkrai, Armor Rouge, and Pikachu. Very unique in terms of like what is on there because those are three Pokemon you would never expect to see on a coin together, right? And that's really cool. And then lastly, you get three decks all with exclusive cards inside of them. And we'll go ahead and look at those exclusive cards. Let me go ahead and move this big bulky box out of the way because it is huge. Let's start off with the Armourage decks first, because I think if you had some, if you had to call which of these decks is probably the least popular, it's probably Armourage deck. I do like the design. It's got a little bit of a texture to it on the outside of the box, especially from the back. You can see the Pokeballs are slightly textured. And then you got a whole bunch of cards in here. We're going to start off with the Armourage EX promo, which let me rotate my camera up a bit. This is SVP 105, so if you're a promo collector, this is a card you're gonna need for your promo box. You get a copy of Youngster, which is exclusive, Switch. And if you notice, these have an armorage symbol with a number. So they're gonna be numbered one through 60 because it's gonna be a 60 card deck. You got a Charcadet. You got a Great Ball. You got a Mela. And if you notice, these cards are already pre-shuffled. So, for example, we see a youngster earlier, so you're gonna have a youngster 59, then you're gonna have a youngster 50. They're not gonna be sequential ordered, which is interesting. You also got an exclusive promo with Picnicker. I believe you could have found this also in your um, 
your build and battle kits, if I'm not mistaken. But this is exclusive to that. So you're going to have your exclusive Picnicker, which is pretty cool. Volcarona. Nest Ball, which is slightly playable. It's not as playable as playable as it used to be, but it's still good. You got Fue Coco. That's a nice card to have. Nimona. Switch. Hound Hour. A basic fire energy. Potion, which obviously potions are a great card in terms of like basic understanding. Another Picnicker, this time with a different number attached to it. Nimona again. Hound Doom. Got another Hound Doom. Got your basic fire energies. You got a Hound Dower. Char Cadet. Fue Coco. So you see, like, it's pretty much a sit up starter deck, which is a great tool for young kids who are learning to play the game. You got enough energies to play. You got your basic setup of Pokemon, which is really nice. But there are a couple of exclusive cards in here that are nice to get. Picnicker as a promo is nice. Armorage EX as a promo is nice. I am going to go ahead and put a sleeve on it because you know how they say if you like it, then you should put a sleeve on it, right? I love that it also gives huge Mega Man vibes as somebody who loved the Mega Man games growing up. Um, those are really nice. Now we're going to go into the Darkrai deck. Now, I want to point out something with Darkrai that is a little bit different from Armourouge and Pikachu. So Armourouge called, is called Player 1. Pikachu is called Player 2. So these are your basic decks. I want to point out that Darkrai is known as the Advanced deck. So there's probably a good chance that we're going to see a little bit more of a complicated strategy when playing this deck. So if you're somebody who's interested in this uh, product, if you want to play this with maybe a youngster in your family or two youngsters want to get together to play it, once they get the hang of the game, they may be able to evolve into the Darkrai deck and learn a different strategy. First and foremost, you get Darkrai EX as a promo. Really cool card. Then you get some basic energies, which I want to point out that these basic energies have the Darkrai symbol, but they're not numbered. That's one thing about the advanced deck versus the basic decks is that the symbols in the advanced deck are never numbered. It's just the symbol. So like Salazzle Dazzle there, Youngster, they all just have the number attached to them. Got a really beautiful King Gambit artwork there, which is a Scarlet and Violet promo, by the way. So this is an exclusive promo to this uh, box. Got Pawnyard, which is another exclusive promo as well as Bisharp. Look how cool these look. This is an Akira Gawa card, so this is 100% going in my binder. So you got exclusive promos in this deck. You got a Veltal, which is pretty cool. You got Nest Ball, a Cyclazar. So here's the thing about this product, right? Is unlike previous iterations where it was all reprints, is there are promos that you can get from this box outside of the three uh, EX cards, right? We've seen the Bisharp, we've seen the Ponyard, and we've seen the King Gambit, right? So you got a really cool deck with some great cards in here. Decent trainer and uh, boss's orders, for example. But you ended up seeing that there was more to offer in that deck than what your other decks offered, especially when it came to promos. So we got Darkrai EX here. And then last but not least, we got Pikachu, which is the player two deck. This is probably gonna be really close to what we've seen with the Armorage deck. The only difference is, is you're gonna have a Pikachu that is arted by Takuya, which when it comes to the people that make the generic EXs, Takuya is my favorite. Uh, I'm not a big fan of stuff like five band. So the Pikachu EX from this box is going to be something awesome to have in your collection if you're a Pikachu fan. Love how it sparkles as well. And then we're going to just quickly flip through this. There's probably not going to be anything that really stands out. You do got Flaffy from Akira Komayama, which is a SVP promo 108. So this also has a promo. I know Flaffy had a previous promo, which I believe that promo was in 
if I'm not mistaken, I believe that promo was in the structure deck, Amphros EX structure deck. And now you see here that we got both an Amphros and a Flaffy promo again. So thinking back to the Armor Rouge, where you didn't really have promos, we got a new Marit promo as well, is you got roughly three, six, nine promos, 10 promos if you count Picnicker in here. So we got 10 different promos that you can get from this box. Maridon, SVP 148, 11 promos. So you've got a ton of exclusive promos. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a copy of each of the promos that we've seen today. Cause I want to show you guys what all promos that you can get out of here. Now, give or take, not every promo in here is exclusive to this box. I believe, once again, Picnicker is uh, available elsewhere. But if you like the Picnicker with the symbol, you can get it from this box. Oh uh, no, I'm looking for King Gambit. All right, and then I'm gonna double check the fire stack. I don't believe there was any promos exclusive to the fire stack. Cause I believe the fire deck had a lot of uh, actual cards from sets. And it looks like that is correct. So when it comes to everything that's exclusive to this box that you can find is the Armourage deck. Unfortunately, the only thing that's going to be exclusive to the Armourage deck in terms of like only in the Armourage deck is going to be Armourage itself. If all three decks have Picnicker. Okay, so you don't need to worry about finding Picnicker um, in just the Armourage deck. It's in every deck. So... Armourage is the only thing exclusive to the Armourage deck. The Pikachu EX deck, on the other hand, has three more exclusive cards, or actually four more exclusive cards outside of uh, Pikachu EX himself. You, uh, you have Picnicker in here as well, but you got a Maridon promo, which is SVP 148. Great artwork. You got Ghidorah's Ampharos, which is SVP 109. You got Mareep from Orca, which is SVP 107. And then you got Flaffy, which is my favorite artwork from this box. This is just so beautiful. By Akira Komiyama for SVP 108. And then for the Darkrai box, you're gonna have the Darkrai SVP 110. King Gambit for SVP 113. Ponyard SVP 111. And Akira Agawa SVP 112. So, is this box worth it? Now think about it, right? This box I think retails for like $19.99 or $24.99. It's a, not a it's not a cheap box, but it's also not an expensive box. If you're somebody who is actually going to utilize this to play, it's definitely a great purchase because it comes with multiple decks for you and somebody young in your family who might want to get into the game to play. As a collector, how expensive are these promos going to be, right? How many shops are going to rip this thing for singles? How many collectors are going to rip this and then just sell the singles, right? That comes in the question whether or not you should buy a sealed box or just buy the singles. I feel like this is a product that's just not going to be open as much. And if you were wanting to buy uh, the cards, I would find this somewhere that where maybe a shop is selling it for cheap locally. Find a shop that might be selling this for $15, $20, and just buy it to get your promos. Because I feel like we could see this, even though it's not very playable, it is Darkrai, it's a very popular Pokemon. I could see this easily being listed for $5 online. I could see Pikachu EX easily going for $5 online for a little while. Armourage, on the other hand, probably not so much just because it is Armourage, but I could see the other two promos. And then I could see each of these promos not being 10 cents a piece. Just because you're gonna have these promos, it, it, I'm not gonna say it's gonna happen, but it seems likely that these promos, at least these six, will be exclusive to this box. This one seems like maybe it'll have a different printing elsewhere because these are sequential promos. These promos are in order one after another. This is 148, so this is much after all of the other promos in here. So we may see this elsewhere, but these promos here, it's whether or not you need these for your collection. If you're a master set collector and you're trying to collect all promos, this box may be a one-time purchase as a collector. Just because I don't see a lot of people ripping this open, especially businesses, trying to move these singles. Because I feel like you're going to lose money as a business if you're trying to move singles 
instead of just uh, selling the product sealed at like a local shop or a local convention or something like that. So that's just my take on this box. It was still a fun open, especially seeing some of these amazing artworks. Like as a five band card, I actually think this card looks pretty good. You know what I mean? I think this Darkrai looks great. I really love the vibe that Planeta gives Armory Chair, very Mega Man feel. And then you got Takuya's Pikachu, which is really cool as well. And then you got some really beautiful common and uncommon cards from the promos here. The Flaffy and the Bisharp being two standouts with those beautiful artworks. So, guys, that's it for the review for uh, this product. Let me know down, uh, down in the comment section below what you think. Do you think this is worth the purchase? Do you think you should avoid it? How do you feel about the Battle Academies as a whole? Are they good products? Are they bad products? I know they kind of have a mixed response by the Pokemon community, especially those that run online businesses. They suck for online businesses because distributors make you pick these up quite often to get good products. I remember when Silver Tempest was kind of running low and ETBs got restocked. In order to get a case of ETBs, you had to pick up a case of Battle Academies and nobody bought Battle Academies at the time. So I can understand why shops would hate these. But as a collector, as a player, do you find value in these products? Let me know down in the comment section below. And remember to subscribe and click that like button for your chance to win one of these awesome promos. I will tell you right now, I'm probably going to keep Armor Rouge. So it's either going to be Pikachu or Darkrai that goes out to one lucky winner. Don't know which one it is yet. I'll probably just coin flip and let one of them go. I think I'm leaning more towards giving away Darkrai just because Darkrai feels a little bit more exclusive. And I know there are a lot of Darkrai fans out there. So we'll wait and see which ones will be given away. But I will be giving away one of these three awesome promos to one lucky winner. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for hanging by and just chilling with me. Anyways, bye.